So now what I want to do is I want to show you all how we can organize all of our requests using an express router. The problem right now is even though we only have a few routes defined, as our application grows, we could have 50 routes, 100 routes, a whole bunch. And you obviously don't want all of it to be in one single file. You want to group together your API endpoints based on what is known as a domain. So what I mean by that is, for example, we have a bunch of user endpoints and all of this handles different operations. So that is known as the user domain. The user domain is everything related to the user itself. So when you create a user, when you grab all the users from the database, when you update a user, that is all part of the user domain. If you see right over here, I have another products endpoint that doesn't really have any other endpoints to do much with, such as creating a product. And this would be the products domain. So anything related to operating with the product domain would be things such as creating a new product, updating a product, deleting a product, things like that. Okay, that's what I mean by domain. And what I want to do is I want to be able to group together all of my users endpoints separate from the products endpoint because it doesn't make sense to keep everything all together. Okay, the products endpoint should be grouped with everything related to products. Users endpoint should be grouped together with everything related to users. If you have endpoints that handle payment processing, maybe you're talking to, let's say, uh, the Stripe API or some other payment processing API, then you would have a payments domain and you want to group all of your payments endpoints together. So we can use an express router to do this. And what I'll do is I'll create a new folder inside the source folder and I'll call this routes. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a new file and call it users.mjs. And then inside users.mjs, we're going to import the router from express. Okay, and this is a function that we can call to create an instance of an express router. It's the same way of how we imported express like this, and then we called the express function. The router import is also a function. So I'm going to declare a variable, and we'll assign the return value of the router function call to this router variable, which is in, which has a lowercase r. Okay, so these two are different, obviously. So now we have our router. And the nice thing about this router is it has pretty much almost all the same exact methods and properties that the Express app instance has. So you can see that I can reference the get method, the post method, delete, all that kind of stuff. Okay, the router itself is pretty much like a mini application in your entire Express app that can group together all of your requests. So you can register requests on the router, but then you also need to register that router to Express. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So the same way that I am registering, let's say this get request right over here for slash API slash users, I can do it, do it on the router. So let me go ahead and copy, uh, let's say this right over here. It takes the same exact method arguments. You can see it takes a path. So let me paste the path right over there. So slash API slash users. And then it takes uh, as many handlers as you want to pass or middleware functions. So we can literally pass this exact same, these exact same arguments right over here like this. Okay. Let's just import that query function from express validator. And this is something that we did in the previous section where we talked about validation in Express. Okay, so next thing we need to do is export this router and then we need to import it into our main index.mjs file where we have the Express app instance because we need to register our router with the main Express app in order for the main Express app to actually have these routes mapped out so users can actually visit it or clients can actually visit it. So I'll export, uh, I'll actually export this as a default. So export default router, just like that. And then the next thing that we'll do is we'll go into our index.mjs file and we want to import that 
router that user router so import user users router from uh and then the folder is routes and then users.mjs let's make sure we don't have any errors in the console okay everything's good with the import so we can register this router now so that way um we can actually access the endpoint defined at the router level over here by simply just using app.use just like this and then you pass the user router like that and since we have the same endpoint defined at the router level we want to make sure we remove this endpoint definition over here so let's just remove that okay so now let's go ahead and try to access that endpoint using the thunder client so we're going to try to make a get request to slash api slash users so let's do that and it says validation result is not defined oh whoops i need to also import validation result as well and let's try to make a request mock users uh is not defined oh that's right because um yeah we're using mock users. okay let me quickly do this i need to move this mock users array into a separate file so i can export it from that file and import it everywhere else that i need it so i'll just create a new file i'll call this constants whoops dot mjs and i'll export this mock users constant and i'm going to remove this right over here and let me just quickly uh do this let me import it inside the index.mjs file because we are using it here so up top i'll import and this is a named export so mock users from utils constants.mjs and we'll do the same thing inside the users.mjs file so import mock users from and then the path right over here okay so no more errors so that's good let's just try to call this endpoint okay so you can see that it works and that's good so we know that it is working and if i were to remove this app.use call and passing in the user's router and save now if i try to make a get request it's going to say for for not found because we did not register that router so hopefully this makes sense so now what i can do is i can take all of my endpoints that are relevant to users and place it inside this users.mjs file and then register those endpoints at the router level so let's do that. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for app.post slash API slash users. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to reference router.post and I'm going to pass in those same exact arguments that I had passed in to app.post. So you can see right over here, we pass in for the first argument, the path, and then all of our middleware functions. Let's just make sure we have all of our imports. So we need to import a check schema from Express Validator. We need to import the create user validation schema as well. So let me import that create user validation schema. Okay, and then uh, let's also, we already have validation result imported. We are using the match data function that comes from express validator so let's import that and this should work so now let me just go back to the index.mjs file remove this app.post because it's redundant and uh let's go ahead and try to make a post request and you can see that it's working just fine let me pass in a request body and then let's see the result and you can see that we get a response back and of course if i were to just remove this it would say four for not found okay and like i said you could do the same thing for all of our endpoints for the users domain so uh, what i'll do is i'll move uh, the get user by id in there so let me just copy all of this and let me just delete this. 
So let's go up here. I'll put this right underneath here. Okay, and then we do need the resolve index by user ID middleware function. And since that is defined inside the index.mjs file, we need to uh, we need to, of course, export it. Oh, whoops, not this one. This one right over here. Let me do this. Let me create a new file inside utils. I'll call this middleware, middlewares.mjs. And let me export this. And let me make sure I am importing mock users from constants.mjs. Okay, this is good. So now we can import. Well, first, let me remove this. And uh, I'll import that middleware first from utils middlewares. Resolve index user by ID because this index file is still using it. And then what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and import this inside the users.mjs file. So that gets imported right up top over here. As you can see, resolve index by user ID for this middleware. Um, and I think we are good for uh, this endpoint right over here. And I did I did remove it, so that's good. So now let me go ahead and just make sure my other endpoints work. Okay, uh, let's do three. Okay, so our endpoints are working, so that's good. Uh, what else? Let's go ahead and move these three endpoints into users.mjs as well. So I'm just going to paste them all over here and just change app to router. Just like that. And we're using the same resolve index by user ID, which like I said, we imported up top over here from that new middlewares.mjs file that I just created. Okay. And uh, there's nothing else that we need to import because it's using mock users, which we already imported already. Um, and the request and response object comes from this callback function. So we're good to go with the rest of our endpoints. So look at our main file. Now look at all this. Now we have cleaned up our index.mjs file. And anything relevant to users, I can just go into the routes users.mjs file and look for the, the corresponding endpoint that I need to look for. Okay, let's just make sure let's just make sure our other endpoints work. Okay, that's good. Okay, and if I take a look at this, I have successfully updated the data. And patch should work just fine as well. Okay, patch is working just fine. I was able to update my data using put and patch and let's try delete. So I just deleted the user of ID three. So if I try to get that user, it's going to say four for not found. And if I call users, it's not going to show that user in the array. Okay. So that's good. So hopefully this all makes sense. So now I can easily just clean up my index.mjs code. So let me remove all, all of the imports that we're not using anymore. So all of this stuff we're not using anymore. All of this stuff over here. Um, I'm going to delete logging middleware because we're not using that anymore. Let me remove these comments down here. Okay, let's go ahead and create another router for products. So I'm going to create a new file and I'll call this products.mjs. And it's going to follow the same structure that we did for our user's router. We're going to import the router from Express. We're going to go ahead and create the router instance by calling the router function and assigning that return value to the router variable. And then we want to also make sure we export the router as a default export. And since products only had, we only had one endpoint for products, I'm just going to go ahead and copy all of this. Let me remove that. And we'll call router.gets paste this there and since we're not using any other imports or we're not referencing anything else aside from just this response argument in the function we don't need to worry about importing anything okay and the last thing that we need to do is import the products router like this so import products router from 
uh, and then the path to that products.mjs file. And then we need to call app.use and pass in products router like this. So now if I try to make a request to products, I can get the list of products. And of course, if I were to remove this app.use uh, with the products router being passed as an argument, we're not registering that products endpoint or that products router, so we can't access that products endpoint. So hopefully this makes sense. Now, one more thing that I will do, and I'm only going to do this because I want to structure this entire project in a way for future videos, for future tutorial videos. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a new file called index.mjs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the router as well. And I'm going to create an instance of this. And you don't have to do this if you don't want to. But personally for me, I prefer organizing everything like this because it makes it so much easier. I'm going to also export this router as a default export. And what I'll do is instead of having all of my routers being imported in the index.mjs file, because you might have a lot, what I'll do is inside this index.mjs file in the routes folder, I will import all of my routers in here. So you can kind of think of this like a barrel file, if you've ever heard of that before. So let me import users router from users.mjs, and then we'll do the same thing or products router, import that from products.mjs. And then what you can do here is you can use router and then call dot use. And in case if I didn't mention it earlier, you can also register middlewares the same way that you would register middlewares on the Express app on the router itself. And that would of course register middleware at the router layer. So not for all of your routes, but for all of the routes for your router specifically. Okay, so you can register middleware only for your users routes and it won't have anything to do with the products route at all. Okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and pass in the users router like this and I'll do the same thing, but for products router like that. And then I export the router as a default export from this index.mjs file. And then I can now go into my index.mjs file in the root source folder right over here remove these two imports, import, um, let's do this, import routes from, and we're going to import this from index.mjs. So we're importing this root router that we're using to register all the other routers. Okay. And then I can go ahead and pass routes into app.use. So I only need to do this one time because I already have all of my routers registered with this root router right over here and i'm registering that root router with the main express app so it's still going to work the same exact way it doesn't matter whichever one you prefer to do but i just prefer doing it this way because i think it makes it a lot more cleaner for the index file itself okay and one one more thing that i will do though is you can also set um, a prefix for all of your routes because notice how right now i am I need to prefix everything with a slash API, okay? Slash API slash products, slash API slash users, etc. So hopefully all of this makes sense and you can now see how, orga how much more organized your entire application looks. So you can go ahead and add, and add more endpoints for products. You can add more endpoints for users and you will know where every single thing is without having to scroll through one file trying to look for it.